Hello there guys, Tombo Combo here, and in this video we're going to be doing the third episode of Rise to Power. Now, um, sorry it's really sped up at this point, but the video clip actually did last 9 minutes, so I put it to times 4 speed. So we're going through and we are building myself a fitness team. Now in the last video you did hear me talk about a fitness team, um, for like because you don't really want to be spending money on squad fitnesses and that's probably the best tip I can give someone that's starting out the game is to definitely pick up a fitness team they are the most probably important factor of Ultima team is a fitness team that you can um, play with now a fitness team will cost you around 4k which is not a lot and then after the seven games you can either discard them uh, and buy the same players back or different players and it should uh, make money on the players because you can just discard them and like buy them for the same sort of price or you can go out and buy contracts either way is up to you I will probably be discarding them and uh, buying them back because I want just seven contracts and contracts are like 200 coins a piece and I feel like it's just more justifiable to discard them and buy them back but you are seeing that we're building pretty a pretty uh, cheap team but a nice hybrid we've got a Serie A left side then we move into the Ligue 1 for the striker and centre mid I think it is centre attacking mid and then the goalkeeper and the centre back is Ligue 1 and then I think we move into the Bundesliga for the right side so it is a very very nice uh, hybrid team for around 4k and the team does play well you will see that in a minute but at the moment we're just trying to get as many coins as possible to try and buy the right mid from the German league which is going to be Sydney Sam and he has a really good card 86 pace 72 shooting obviously you wouldn't been able to see that right there because it's that quick but I can just remember so um, now we are going in with changing our main squad bench to our fitness team just so the fitness team can get fitness back while my, I'm playing with my main squad and then we'll do the exact same on the fitness team we'll put in my main squad so um, that's how you build a fitness team and let's now get into the game. So the first game we will be coming up in Division 9 because we did get promoted in the last episode and we'll be playing Derby All-Stars. Now he has a pretty decent team, Saudio Mane and Juve. He's got a pretty sweaty uh, BPL team but that was no match for me as you'll see in these clips. Now like I said in I think the first or second episode, literally up until about Division 5 you will be playing against pretty diabolical people um, obviously if you're in like division six or seven and you're losing then you're the sort of people I like playing against but we go 1-0 up there with the inform left mid now I'm gonna have to just call him like Bernard because I have no idea how to pronounce his name but we do go 2-0 up and uh, overall I'm actually quite impressed with this team I it's got to one of them where it's like am I actually playing my fitness team or am I playing my main team because it actually plays really, really nicely. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to use this in the weekend league as much as I like playing with it. Just because there's not enough sweat and the striker is absolutely abysmal. But um, but overall, the, the team is really nice. The left mid, Bernard, is absolutely insane. I would definitely recommend going to pick him up just to give him a try. He's around 11 or 12k. So you won't be losing any money on him. Like Even if you have to discard him, you'll lose like a k, which isn't that bad. Um, but yeah, he's actually really, really good. His left foot is an absolute dream. But we're winning 5-0. And uh, it only gets worse for this guy, Dabo, who would probably be suited at a CDM role. But he's the only player that would get my striker on perfect chem. And uh, once we get some more coins, hopefully after this weekend's weekend league, then uh, we will be changing this team up completely. But um, I'm a bit confused. Well, not confused, but... I'm a bit like unsure what I'm going to do for the Weekend League at the moment because I'm in two minds. I want to play the Weekend League on my main account. So my main account is going to be my main focus still because I like playing with the players I've got on there. So that's going to be 40 games on my main account. I hope to get them done by probably late Saturday around like 4 or 5 o'clock. And then I will be grinding out this account. But if I can't finish all 40 games then I do apologise in advance. But my main goal for this account in the weekend league is kind of to get around 14 wins maybe plus the only reason i'm not going for gold or i'm not expecting gold is because i don't know how many games i'm going to be able to get through 
But at the moment you can see they're on 1,200 coins and we have got uh, a record of 6-0 and 0, which is very, very decent for a budget, budget team. Why did I just repeat? Budget, budget team and very, very good. But yeah, you can see there, I was just checking to see how much we win if we uh, win the championship and you get 3k. So that's decent, that will help us improve our team a little bit more. And So guys, if you did enjoy the video then please leave a like, comment, share and subscribe if you did uh, enjoy the video if you're going to be building a fitness team if you didn't know about fitness teams then leave a comment on that share and subscribe if uh, you enjoyed the video as well um, it will really help me out trying to get to my end of 2017 goal which is a thousand subscribers so if you could do that i'd be greatly appreciated and until the next video of rise to power or something else on my channel there is videos up every single day i will see you guys later